The apostles of Jesus didn't just preach, they met shocking, brutal ends. From being crucified upside down to being skinned alive, their deaths are a testament to their unwavering faith. Here's how each of the twelve apostles faced their final moments. According to Christian tradition, the Apostle Peter was crucified upside down in Rome around 64 AD during Emperor Nero's rule. Peter, originally named Simon, was one of Jesus' closest followers and a significant figure in spreading Christianity. Historians believe that Peter faced execution due to his role as a Christian leader. When sentenced to crucifixion, he requested to be crucified upside down, saying he felt unworthy to die in the same way as Jesus. This act of humility is significant and is often cited by early church fathers, such as Origen and Eusebius, who documented Peter's final moments. His death occurred during a period of intense persecution of Christians under Nero, especially after the Great Fire of Rome. Andrew, Peter's brother, met a similar fate. He was crucified on an X-shaped cross in Patras, Greece. Known as the Saltire or St. Andrew's Cross, this unique cross became an enduring symbol tied to Andrew. Historical records suggest that Andrew preached Christianity throughout Eastern Europe and Asia Minor. When he reached Greece, he was arrested and sentenced to death for his teachings. Like Peter, Andrew showed humility in his final moments, reportedly choosing an X-shaped cross because he did not consider himself worthy to die on the same type of cross as Jesus. This story of Andrew's martyrdom reflects the apostles' commitment to their faith, even in the face of persecution. James, also known as James the Greater, was one of the earliest apostles to be martyred. He was executed in Jerusalem by order of King Herod Agrippa I around 44 AD. According to the Book of Acts in the Bible, James was beheaded, making him the first of the twelve apostles to be martyred. His death was part of a broader effort by Herod Agrippa to suppress the early Christian movement. James's death had a profound impact on the early Christian community and was seen as a testament to his unwavering faith and dedication to spreading the teachings of Jesus. John, one of the Twelve Apostles, was unique as he is believed to have died naturally, unlike the others who faced violent deaths. He was exiled to the island of Patmos during Emperor Domitian's reign around 95 AD due to his strong Christian beliefs. While on Patmos, John is said to have had the visions that inspired the Book of Revelation. These visions were later recorded, forming a significant part of the New Testament. After Domitian's death, John was allowed to leave Patmos and returned to Ephesus. He spent his remaining years there, living a long life for that time. Many accounts place his death at around 100 AD. John's peaceful passing is seen as a reflection of his unwavering faith and dedication. Philip, one of Jesus' early disciples, preached the gospel in regions like Asia Minor and Greece. While spreading Christianity in Hierapolis, a city in modern-day Turkey, Philip faced fierce resistance. He was arrested for his teachings and eventually met a tragic end. Tradition holds that Philip was crucified upside down, similar to Peter's fate. In some accounts, he was also stoned while on the cross, which made his suffering worse. Philip's commitment to his mission, despite the dangers, remains a powerful story in Christian history. Bartholomew, also known as Nathaniel, faced a brutal death in Armenia. As he spread the Christian faith, he encountered harsh resistance. According to tradition, Bartholomew was flayed alive, which means he was skinned while still living. After enduring this painful act, he was then beheaded. His death was one of the most painful and violent among the apostles, reflecting the risks these early Christians faced in spreading their beliefs. Bartholomew's unwavering dedication and faith in the face of such cruelty have made his story a lasting one. Thomas, often referred to as Doubting Thomas, is known for spreading Christianity in India. After Jesus' resurrection, Thomas traveled far east, with most traditions linking him to India. He is believed to have reached Kerala around 52 AD, preaching and establishing churches along the Malabar coast. Thomas converted many locals, which angered religious leaders. 
In 72 AD, while he was praying on St. Thomas Mount near Chennai, he was attacked and speared to death by a group of local priests or soldiers under orders from a king who was upset with Thomas's refusal to worship an idol. His martyrdom marked the beginning of Christianity in India, and he is still honored as the patron saint of Indian Christians. Matthew, another of Jesus' apostles, traveled to spread the gospel in various regions, including Ethiopia. Historical accounts suggest that Matthew worked to convert people in Ethiopia to Christianity. His mission, however, was met with hostility from local authorities who resisted his teachings. According to tradition, Matthew was stabbed to death in Ethiopia. While some sources suggest that his martyrdom occurred at the hands of a king who disapproved of Matthew's success in converting his subjects, other accounts provide fewer details. His death, like that of many apostles, reflects the dangers the early Christians faced in spreading their faith. James, also known as James the Less, was one of the Twelve Apostles, and his death is a striking example of the dangers early Christians faced. According to historical accounts, James preached in Jerusalem, gaining followers but also drawing the anger of the local religious authorities. Around 62 to 66 AD, James was taken to the pinnacle of the temple and ordered to deny Jesus. Instead, he boldly proclaimed Jesus as the Messiah. Enraged, the crowd threw him off the temple. The fall did not kill him, so his attackers began stoning him. Even as he was being stoned, James prayed for his attackers, asking God to forgive them. Eventually, a man struck him on the head with a club, killing him. This brutal martyrdom serves as a reminder of the fierce opposition early Christians faced in spreading their faith. Thaddeus, also known as Jude, was another of Jesus' twelve apostles, and he traveled far and wide to spread the gospel. Tradition holds that Thaddeus preached in regions like Mesopotamia and Persia. His bold preaching eventually led to his martyrdom. In Persia, modern-day Iran, Thaddeus was clubbed to death by those who opposed his message. Some accounts suggest that he and another apostle, Simon the Zealot, were martyred together. Thaddeus's unwavering faith and courage are honored to this day, with many Christians turning to him for guidance, especially in times of need. He is remembered as the patron saint of desperate causes. Simon the Zealot, one of Jesus' lesser-known apostles, earned his title due to his association with a Jewish political movement that sought to overthrow Roman rule. After following Jesus, Simon dedicated his life to spreading Christianity and traveling to regions such as Egypt and Persia. His fiery passion for the faith mirrored his past zeal, making him a committed apostle. His death is shrouded in mystery, with various traditions stating he was martyred in Persia. One account suggests Simon was sawed in half, a brutal form of execution, while another tradition claims he was crucified for refusing to renounce his faith. Despite the lack of concrete historical evidence, Simon's life of devotion remains an example of unwavering faith. Matthias was chosen to replace Judas Iscariot as one of the Twelve Apostles after Judas betrayed Jesus. While little is known about his early life, Matthias's role in spreading Christianity is widely recognized. Tradition holds that Matthias preached in Jerusalem and the surrounding regions. His end came in a similarly violent manner to many apostles. According to accounts, Matthias was stoned and then beheaded for his faith. This martyrdom took place during a period of intense persecution of Christians, and Matthias's death underscored the risks the apostles faced while spreading the gospel. As always, thanks for joining, and be sure to give a like and a follow if you'd like any more of that history crack.